And you were saying something very interesting about when, when, the, when the meningitis happened and you, and you did lose your leg. For you, obviously, devastating, but at mm. five, it's amazing how you can cope. You were saying it was more, it was actually tougher on your mum and your dad and the rest of your family. Yeah, I think when you're that young, you don't really fully understand what's happened. Um, I, you know, you know that your leg's gone. Mm. You don't perhaps know why, you don't perhaps know how close to not being there you were, yeah, but yeah. your family do, and your family are there seeing that. They're all mm. going through that. You know, I'm just having a nice little sleep. Whilst I, yeah, I whilst I go yeah. through that. So um, I think it's probably a lot tougher on those guys, yeah. you know. I mean, obviously, as I get older, it's, it's me who has to deal with it. But I think at that time, for sure, it, I think it was probably a lot harder on my family. No, definitely. I mean, it was, it was really, really serious. And it was lovely because you met the surgeon who actually saved your life. He came along to Strictly as well, which the is a lovely that sort took of my leg full, off. Uh, yeah, Dr. Ross Russell was the one yeah, that saved my life. Right. But the pair came in um, and then... Obviously, he was trying to fix me up a little bit, so he realised that the leg had to go. And it was really interesting getting to see him. I've seen him a few times, mm. but um, get to see him on the show, we, we started talking about things that perhaps we haven't talked about before. And he said something which was... And I think it was really great for him because he doesn't get to see... He makes decisions. He makes hard decisions every yeah. day. You know, he makes decisions that he hopes are the right ones. But at the time, it's a very tough one to make. You know, he has to decide to, take, to amputate and... It's not taken lightly. Mm. But I think when he came to Strictly and he could see how well you're getting on, it, it was really good for him to know that he does right. make decisions that, that are good and mm -hmm. that they, they do really work out for the best because, you know, he doesn't ever get to see someone 15, 16 years no, post-op. He just has to see them there and then in, in really the toughest time. So... I think it was really, you know, nice to, for him oh, to see. Oh, it'd be lovely. It'd be fantastic to yeah. actually see you as a symbol of, you know, of what, what he did and, as you say, absolutely the right decision. So we've got the tour coming up. You've got that coming up. Yes. What about looking ahead? You're still going to be involved in Paralympics, presumably, and in athletics yes. generally? Yes. Yeah, so this year is a down year for me. Right. So I won't be competing too much. Um, I won't be training too much either. I just wanted a year, really, to swap the priorities over. Sure. Um, I decided this about three or four years ago just because I've really hit it hard for about seven years. It's, it's your focal point. It yeah. takes number one and, you know, family, friends, diet, uh, you know, <laughs> drinking, everything comes after that. So I just wanted a year where I could kind of swap it around. You know, Makes athletics sense. is still there, but it's kind of, instead of first priority, it's now kind of third or fourth. Mm. And I can just allow other things to happen. And, and it, it strictly was perfect. That came oh, along. So now we can go on tour be. as well and exactly. have great fun. So it's really all worked out amazingly.